Hey guys, this is the sixth tutorial in the beginning air series, uh, series, and today I'll be uh, telling you how to import object into Adobe Illustrator. There's a few methods that we could uh, use, and the first method is go to File and go to Place right here. Place opens up the Windows Dog box or Mac, it's a equivalent, and right there you can browse the location wherever you want to import. So, it doesn't matter what format you can import, you'll import JPEGs, Illustrator files, uh, PSDs, uh, PDFs, and if you know what specific format you like, take go to the type right here, and and select a format. So, let's see, you think it would be a Adobe Illustrator format or a PDF, you click that. Now, I'm just going to import a random image, just say import this and there you go it imports it now as you can see there's a bounding box over of the X that means it's not embedded it's linked to the project and okay that's fine if it's always going to appear however if you're working if you keep transferring your project to different computers or sent to your colleagues sometimes it's best to embed it however you know it does increase the file size. Anyways, so that's one way to import it. Another way to import a file is you open up you open up your window and then you browse to the location where you have the file located. So um alright so I'll just go here and I'll import a random image. Um let's say I'm going to import this PDF. So all you do is click on the file, hold, and you drag. And there you go. It embeds in. And because this is the Illustrator file, it was a PDF, I can make it actually a bit bigger. There you go. And I'll embed it because I don't want to look for my files uh, after the fact. And so it's nice that they're embedded. So I always, I always work on various computers. And there you have it. Uh, actually, there is one other way you could do transfer files. So, like, say, um, let's say you know you have an image. Let's go here. Uh, if you find image online stuff, your background, you could copy and paste the image into Illustrator. However, it's not the greatest way. The quality is not always good. So once here, you go up to edit, and then you paste, and you get the object. As you see, oh, it's it embeds it. However, it gives you a black outline all around it. So it's not good to copy and paste images online to Illustrator. It's always better to grab them off your computer himself, or as always, better to use the images that you created or what you created. And that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the next one.